Thanks for joining me. My name is Elizabeth Alfano. In addition to the Fear No Art Chicago TV show on WTTW, I wanted to bring a web series to the website so we can cover all that's happening in the months that we're not on air. So look for two webisodes a month on FearNoArtChicago.com and join me as I go behind the scenes to check out all that's being made and get into the hearts and minds and souls of Chicago's artists. I've passed this unsuspecting building on the corner of Grand and Racine a thousand times without ever knowing what's raging within. Let's check out the hot glass studio of Talisman Glass. Sharon, thank you so much for having me in your studio. This is a phenomenal place. Thank you. How long have you been working in glass? Working in it 25 years. What kind of work do you do? Of course, we're standing in front of a lot of examples. Are these things you do for private commissions or businesses? We do architectural glass work. So our, we are commissioned by architects, interior designers, landscape architects, and these are just small bits and pieces that are left over from commissions that we have completed. Wonderful. So you would do something like a restaurant or a large public space? We do a lot of restaurant lighting. We're very, very well known for our lights. Oh, that's oh, modern, great. unique pieces like this one, these mushrooms. So these were lights? These were lights. They were sold for the uh, Museum of Contemporary Art gift store. Do you design or you just execute? Everything from design to manufacturing. Really? And it's sometimes installation, depending on the project. Well, I'd love to actually see your furnaces. We're talking about all this hot molten glass. I'd love to check it out. Let's go that way. So we're here in front of your furnace. It's not even open yet, and I can feel how hot it is. What temperature is this? This runs at 2,050 degrees Fahrenheit. 2,050 degrees all the time? Holy God, holy God, that is so hot. Around 2,000 degrees. And what, what does it cost to heat this? Um, it costs several thousand dollars a month to run a glass studio in terms of the utilities, the gas and the electric. Oh, so very expensive. And do you keep this running every day of the month? 24-7, 11 months a year. Do you become numb to this kind of heat? No, not at all. No, you still feel what I feel, which is that my yeah, hair is yeah. singeing. No, it, it, you get slightly desensitized, but I mean, no one can tolerate 2,000 degrees. Yeah, that's, that's uh, Dante's Inferno. Well, I would love to see you blow glass. So you can see I don't really go way into the furnace. I try to keep my body as far away as I can, even though the pipe goes in. shaping the glass. This is a wooden tool that has a carbonized interior and it's just helping form the glass into a nice even ball. And then my assistant Sarah is going to blow ahead and blow and we're going to increase the diameter of that bubble inside of it. I'm picking up wet newspaper which is just a hand tool. And blow please. Stop. At about 1700 is where you start getting a little motion, and in 2000s when we come out and we really start playing with it again. Okay, okay. Oh my. Go ahead, Sarah. I can feel the heat at my wrist. Yeah, it's here is where you're getting Right. So let's move the paper over a little. Okay. And paper's just I'm flying. I'm letting go, keep turning. How many times a year do you burn yourself? Um, once every decade. Wow. Now, I noticed that there's another person working over here just with one single flame. Is she a part of your studio? No, occasionally we invite visiting artists. Mm -hmm. This is Melissa Ayotte. She's a paperweight artist who's just in town for the weekend. Oh, great. Well, I'd love to chat with her. Let's head over. Melissa, welcome. What are you doing in Chicago? Thanks. I'm here for the L.H. Salmon Paperweight Gallery. They're having a holiday exhibit. Really? They, they focus only on paperweights? primarily modern and antique paperweights. Wow, that's fascinating. I, I don't really think of paperweights as its own art form. Are there a lot of artists working in paperweights? There are a lot of contemporary artists working in paperweights, and there's an extensive historical background to paperweights. What I'm doing here is the framework part of the paperweight, and that's basically like sculpture and painting at once. I take various colors and coat them onto the rods to get variation in color for florals and um, other such things. Wow, so you are creating everything that is inside that paperweight. You're, you're making that now. Every little piece, all the little stamens and, and petals and stems, it's all made from glass. Wow, and so you sculpt it sort of in mid-air as the glass is melting. Yes. I'm taking all of the flamed work pieces that I made earlier and now I'm assembling them into a design. 
So there are this many pieces in one design? Yes. Yep. Each design has uh, so many pieces and parts to it, and then they all have to be compiled and assembled together. Oh, and you're melting them together? Correct, yeah. So now, did you study nature or drawing? How? Because this in and of itself is its own art form, composing the glass pieces. It is, actually. I mean, we do study an awful lot about nature. We read books endlessly, and sure. we go out and study actual still life that, that can be used in our work. Um, and we also do a lot of work around color and trying to perfect color harmony. There's so many different components that go into the design. Right. Um, and it all has to be considered when you're working with the glass. We're doing these floral designs, let's right. say, inside, yes. and they will last forever. The colors, yes. the shape, the form will always be the same. Time cannot destroy. Correct. It's really a difficult path to take up. The glass is a very expensive medium to right. make, right. and the loss uh, factor is extremely difficult, I think, right. for a beginning artist, at least. I can see where if you have one paperweight, you have a hundred. Mm -hmm. I mean, this can be very obsessive because and I'm just fascinated with the details and it just is drawing me in. Yeah, they're wonderful little worlds. Now you're rounding it out. When this is cooled down, will it be your finished paperweight? Yes, right now I'm working on that nice spherical dome that the paperweight has. This is incredible. I had no idea what could be made with glass. Glass is really an amazing medium. This has been a thrill. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. There's an artist and a fiery furnace around every corner and in every alleyway. Join me on the next FearNoArtChicago.com as we go behind the scenes and get into the unique and fascinating world of the independent artist. Chicks who blow glass. That's cool. I don't want to hit anybody with molten glass. I have a question for you. Yeah. Do you blow glass in high heels all the time? Absolutely. That's hot. Okay. That's hot. All right. <laughs> Tasty. Support for Fear No Art Chicago is provided by the L.H. Selman Gallery. Paperweights are the crown jewels of glass artistry. You can discover both antique and modern paperweights at the L.H. Selman Gallery in Chicago's Fine Arts Building.